<laughs> Why does that not work? You have to draw a willy. Study hard, kids. Yeah, don't be. don't be like Ian. I don't know what you're doing because you don't use your words and I've got no clue what, what you're trying to do. Just, just get on with it and drill your holes. Are you finger in the hole? Yes. <laughs> Come on, poke in your holes. <laughs> Measure twice, cut once. Measure twice, cut six times. <laughs> Ian, Ian isn't very proficient at using a tape measure. Many a time I've asked him to put something in the middle of the wall and it's ended up on the wonk. So we are putting some new shelves in because we've got cars absolutely everywhere. We've run out of space. So the plan is to put new shelf in here and then up here, another one for the Tamiya's. And loads of you have been asking how we do it. So this is our how to video. Which will probably come out well. We're definitely won't contain health and safety. So the wood we're using is that size, 2.4 meter length, uh, 20 millimeters by 144 millimeters. And we'll use two of them together like that. It's really hard to show on there, but that is two pieces of wood. Health and safety. Power tools. Got your boots on, yeah? Yes. Goggles. Of course. Okay, then we've got this size wood, 45 mil by 95 mil, which we've used where the posts are, really hard to explain to you, where the posts are behind, we've got a support that's slightly smaller than this bit. So you've got an inch, so you can't really see it. And as to how you space them out with the dowels, that's up to you, depending on the size. But obviously, we've got the X Maxes on there. But the ones that are going on this new shelf are smaller. So the Mad Van, the Typhon. Um, so we could afford to go a little bit shorter. Shorter? Yeah. You're shorter. I know I'm shorter. And the supports that go at the back will be about 10 inches wide. Uh, wide, yeah. Yeah, not long, is it? Ten yeah. inches wide. I don't see this very often. So, as you can see, it's about an inch clearance on there. <laughs> Why does that not work? Oh, you're not working. Oh, somebody's nicked the fuse out of it. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Never change your profession from mechanic to <laughs> carpenter. <laughs> that is shit. <laughs> so where the blocks are on here, that will be to give you the strength for where the dowels go. <laughs> so you measured it at six and a half inches, yet the mad van fits on seven inch gap, yeah? Yeah. How did it get on top of the feathering? <laughs> I'm out of covered everything. Look. Oh, look. Are you going to draw? I think, uh... We have to draw a willy. It's not easy to do through a lens, though. <laughs> <laughs> 11 inches. This is where Ian's maths goes. I can there. hear your brain making a noise <laughs> it, it now. Hurts. You want it 7 inches and you've got 11 inches. So how That's many is that? 4 inches That's off. That's 4. Which is, no. it's easy because it's an even number. <laughs> Two even sides. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> that is not my strong point. Study hard, kids. Yeah, don't. Don't be, be like Ian. <laughs> One day we're actually going to do an educational <laughs> no. video. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing because you don't use your words and I've got no clue what, what you're trying to do. Just, just get on with it and drill your holes. That's what you're doing now. And a little sit down. Yeah. You just wanted to prove how stupid I am. Really, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. So the dowel we're using is an 18 mil dowel. This is the bit Ian's going to struggle with because he's going to have to try and get his holes in straight because he didn't last time and they're wonky. <laughs> Your 
finger in the hole? Yes. Are you serious? Have you got room for this? Sure. Uh, <laughs> you're going to have to get a slap. <laughs> Just spend 50 quid on wood and it won't bloody fit. Stand over my shoulder, wouldn't You're just keeping an eye on me. Ooh, close up. We're making a video, so yeah, I kind of do need to be near you. <laughs> <laughs> you total bell end. I don't like you being that close. Personal space. <laughs> oh, look at that. Is that dead straight? <laughs> Blimey. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's gone through to the outside world. Hey, hurry up now, I'm bored of filming. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> So for the length of the dowel, we've measured from the edge of the wheel to the edge of the chassis, marked it out on there. The two biggest ones are the Vortex and the Nitro Savage, about 11 inches worth of dowel. <laughs> you seem to lose the idea that this is a YouTube channel and just <laughs> start poking things in holes. Come on, poke in your holes. Yeah, so you really don't need the glue on these if the, if the dowel goes in far enough. So these ones are going sloping upwards by the looks of it. They're not oh, straight. Really? No, and inwards. They're a bit bug-eyed as well. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got enough dowel. That's <laughs> 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 where you realise your measuring isn't any good. Vortex. Typhon. I need to buy another RC. No, hmm. Mad Van. Where is it? Up there. And there we have it. All we need to do now is fill in the little screw holes, lick a paint to match those ones. Hooray! Yay! We've got a shelf up over there for the controllers we don't use, another shelf up there for bits and bobs, a minging King Motors that we took out at the weekend, that you'll have to wait for that video. But yeah done please for that but then look there's a space that must mean new toy time hopefully this video made sense do you reckon it made sense no no i don't either